a roadmap for peace in Syria, and the plan is coming from Russia ahead of a second round of talks in Vienna this week. CCTV's Lorna Shadek has details from Moscow. The eight-point Russian peace plan has been circulating uh, at the United Nations in New York for the last day or so. Uh, it appears to have been leaked there, and there are several key aspects, one of which is the, uh, any eventual constitutional reform process uh, in Syria. It says that uh, that process should last 18 months, but crucially it does not say uh, whether President uh, Bashar al-Assad would still be the president uh, during that process or not. It does, however, make clear that he should not be in charge of that process at all. Instead, it says the chairman should be uh, a candidate chosen and agreed upon by all parties. So quite vague, but uh, certainly not President Assad. Uh, then secondly, on any eventual elections that might happen in a, a post-conflict uh, Syria, again, no clarity on President Assad's role there. Simply uh, no, no mention of whether or not he would be allowed to run in those elections. However, some uh, details on what the eventual function of the new president would be uh, when elected. He would be, he or she would be the uh, commander-in-chief of the armed forces, but also in charge of foreign policy and of Syria's special services. So uh, an interesting sort of blueprint from the Russians for a post-conflict Syria, but perhaps one that raises a few more questions than it answers, particularly, of course, uh, over the role of President Assad in a post-conflict uh, nation in Syria, especially, of course, given that we know that is still the key and crucial sticking point uh, between Western powers like the US and between Russia and uh, its ally on this issue, Iran. Lorna Shadik, CCTV, Moscow.